I remember trying my mom's high heels for the first time when I was around 8 or 9. I did it only once while no one was watching. I knew I shouldn't. I never dared to do it again. Sometimes when I came out of the shower, I would go to my room and put the towel around my hair just like I saw her and my sister do. I would put it on my head, look in the mirror and start acting, making faces and poses. One time I forgot to lock the door and my mom caught me doing that. A cold chill went down my spine because I thought my mom would go and tell my father. She kept it to herself, like many other things she kept inside. If you ask what drag is to different people, drag performers or not, each person will give you a different answer. Some will say it's just a man dressing as a woman and behaving as such. Some people will say it's like cosplay, dressing up and having fun. And some other people might say it's disrespectful to women. That is all fair. For me, drag is multiple things. It's creating a character, just like I do with my work as an illustrator and a character designer. But I am both the paper and the pencil. It's acting like someone other than myself, like in theater. It's creating a narrative and telling a story, like a writer. It's changing your face, like a painter. It's pretending Halloween happens every day. It's pretending Carnival happens every day. It's having fun like a kid. It's a creative outlet. It's painting a new canvas every time I put my drag on. It's thinking of color combinations. It's designing something, sketching an outfit idea. It's self-care. Having a moment with myself. It's therapy. It's bringing joy to people. It is to make people laugh. It is to make people enjoy themselves. It's a lot of work, a lot of hours. It's tiring. It is trying not to think too hard about certain things at the same time that you think a lot about some other things. It is also bringing serious conversations to the table. It's bending the rules of gender. It's actually making fun of the rules about gender, not women. So doing drag for me is being rebellious and inviting people to rebel against these stupid gender rules. If, of course, they get the point that I'm trying to make. Sometimes drag is understood as reinforcing gender stereotypes if it's analyzed superficially. That's fair. It's also telling people, especially boys and men, that it's okay to have traditionally feminine mannerisms or appearance, that they can resignify what masculinity is. Their masculinity can be anything they want. It's exposing to straight men how much they are conditioned to be attracted to the performance of femininity and not women for who they are without that same performance. Most of all, drag is counterculture. It's questioning things, it's proposing new things, it's expanding things or distorting them. Just as important as knowing what drag is, is understanding that the only thing drag cannot be is limiting. So, with my drag, I try to reflect on all of these things and hopefully start some sort of reflection on others. It is not all fun and glittery and flamboyant and colorful. It's also some people distancing themselves from you but I, I think it's their loss, it's not a problem. 
I want the people in my life around me to be people that understand all my creative endeavors and who acknowledge and welcome who I am as a person that tries different things in different times in my life. It is really fulfilling though. I have the best time when I do drag and hopefully people around me when I perform are having just as a good time as I am. I don't necessarily aim to give people answers with my drag. I want to mostly ask questions and make people, queer or not, go make their own questions. It is that little kid in me finally being able to dress up and have fun and experiment things without the fear of other people repressing him. So I, I really love it. <laughs>